I mean, it's the only way to make cleaning seem fun, really. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified. Today I am taking you through a day in the life of washing. The never ending story of washing. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have too many tips. My ultimate tip or one thing that I always do and wouldn't not do my washing this way is um, I always hang all shirts and any dress pants, jeans, etc. straight on coat hangers and hang them on a clothes horse. That way, once they're dry, I can put them straight away. So, you know, it stops them from being creased, keeps them nice straight lines. And not only that, but it's not double handling them, putting them on the thing and then putting them on a coat hanger and then putting them away. It's all just done in one. And then I don't actually own any whites. My kids maybe own one white shirt. My husband owns the most white shirts, but he doesn't often wear them. So I don't really separate as such, which I know is a big no-no, but if I was to wait for, you know, enough to do a load of whites, I would be waiting a good while. Especially as no one really wears clothes around here when it's the weekend, you know, everyone's, yeah walking around with no pants on or something, even in the middle of the winter, they all do it. So when I'm doing my washing, I probably, no, I definitely am a little bit lazy. A lot of things go in the dryer. So for me, socks, jocks, pajamas, and kids' tracky pants or soft shorts all go in the dryer. And then the rest, so um, jean pants, um, any of my pants, any of Zach's pants all get hung on my clothes horse. I don't really use a clothesline outside. There's a couple of different reasons for that, but mainly just, it's just my routine. It's just what I do. And I do try and do washing every day to every second day. If I don't do it by the time I get to the third day, it is Mount Everest, which is what you're going to see today. This is Mount Everest. This was probably three loads of washing that I did. Um, and I've got a 15 kilo washing machine, so it's a big washing machine and it can hold a lot. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get this party started. So as I said, my washing machine is a 15 kilo washing machine. So this is about three quarters full and I've just put it on a cotton wash, it's called. Nothing fancy, just a normal wash. So now it's done and I put all pajamas, jocks, socks, etc. in the dryer. Here we go, Mount Everest getting started. Fold it Marie Kondo style ish. I am not a super pedantic folder. I have my way that I like to fold it, but generally I fold and then it's up to everyone else to put the clothes away. And I always say to my husband that he needs to police the putting away of the clothes because I'm just not doing it. And I know that once I have folded them up all nice and neat, that they try their best to get them down to their bedrooms and put away, but I know that they're not as careful as what I would like.
I'm sorry, but life is too short to be boring and I am all about the jokes and generally I'm pretty dirty. It's it's just my thing. I can't help it. I wanna know. I could run through the fire. I could conquer the night. If I can make it, if I try to draw the red light. Get off the table, Missy Moo. Isn't she beautiful? Now, if you will notice in the background on the walls, they are half cream, half white with red underneath. We are in the process of preparing all the walls to be painted. Um, I'm not sure if you would have remembered, but we had, well, they had red on the bottom with a brown trim halfway and then this creamy color on top. We were gonna go white on top and gray on the bottom, but we decided to just pull it all off and paint it all one color. So we've been patching up all the walls. Well, when I say we, I mean my husband. He has been patching up all the walls and in about two weeks time, we are going to be painting them and I cannot wait. Yeah, I usually get the kids to help put away all the clothes, but I did not today because it's school holidays here and everyone was playing nicely and quietly and I just did not want to poke the bears, so I put them away. This here is a perfect example of why all the socks go in the dryer because I am not hanging out a hundred billion little socks. No thank you. So have a look in the background guys. There's three plants there. Which one is fake? One, two or three? Leave a comment below. So this is how I hang all my shirts and good pants and school pants out um, and then I put them all away from there. Sort them in the piles and away they go guys. Empty, empty, empty. This is my favorite part of washing, having it empty for five seconds until it is filled up again. So guys, my question to you today is, what is your favorite fabric softener? I have an ultimate favorite that every time I smell it just makes me feel so good and ah. But of course it's a limited edition and I cannot find it anymore. It is called the Fluffy, um, well the Fluffy Range in Midnight Rose. It is absolutely amazing. Um, so what is your favorite fabric softener? Please leave a comment below. So that's it from me today guys. So guys, I feel like I can't complete this video without addressing the issue of the fact that I am folding my jocks, wait, my jocks? My underwear, my husband's jocks on YouTube. I really considered 
not filming it, but he wears a lot of jocks. And if I took out his jocks from the pile, my washing load would probably be half. He, and I think a lot of men are like this, sometimes he wears like three pairs of jocks a day. Who needs to wear that many jocks? I do not know. I will never understand. Especially when he gets to like day three and he's got zero jocks and he's like, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, dude, you don't need to wear three pairs of jocks a day. It is not necessary. So, yep, I decided to film them. You know, keeping it real, whatnot. So that's it from me today guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have please give it a thumbs up, do not forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one guys, bye!